Hi, the Oduers. Are you ready to dive into the exciting world of the Odoo Documents app? Today, we will uncover how it revolutionizes your workflow by eliminating tedious manual tasks, saving you precious time. Go paperless with us, unlock cost-saving benefits on paper and storage, and empower your team with streamlined efficiency. Let's jump right in and transform the way you work. So I'm here in my documents application. I can see here that I have all my workspaces. Um, basically, those are um, hierarchical folders. For example, you can see that I have a hierarchy between my HR workspace and my recruitment one. And uh, they are organized with several um, tags as well. So for example, my internal workspace doesn't have the same tags available as my finance workspace. Um, I can access all my workspaces, reorganize them. I can create a new one inside the internal workspace, for example, by clicking here, or I can create uh, other ones from the workspace menus menu here by clicking on the new button. I also have a lot of actions available on my right side once I select one document. So in this case, for example, I can see that I have those actions uh, appearing here. So I can, for example, download the document, share it, replace it, lock it, or split it. And this last option, I will explain it a little bit later. I can also access the chatter of my document and I can delete it if necessary. One other thing that I can do is rename the, con the, the document, sorry, um, link it to a specific contact, um, change the owner. So in this case, since I uploaded this document, this uh, is linked to me. I can change the workspace to which it is related by choosing another workspace in the list, and I can add or remove a tag. I also have um, some actions available that are actually different depending on the workspace. Here, I can create a task, I can sign, I can mark this document as draft, or I can mark it as deprecate. I also have a list of actions that are available here. So those are the actions that are created by default, but I can also create a new one if I want to. If I go back to uh, my finance workspace, um, I can see here that actually um, I have already two um, invoices. So I have an invoice and a vendor bill, and those were sent to me uh, from an alias. So basically uh, an email address to which people can send an email. Here I can see that I have a, an alias for my finance workspace and an alias for my internal workspace. I can also create new aliases um, because I want to recruit more people for my company, I will go to the recruitment workspace, click here, and basically click on share. And there I will have um, a few actions available. Um, so I have a link already available here, but I can also allow uploading a document and that will allow me to create an alias. Here I will name it recruitment and people sending, sorry if I don't miss I'm going to misspell it. And then here, if people send me an email to this email address, then I will receive it in my recruitment workspace. I can also create a new activity to remember actually that I need to do something here. Um, so I just link it to the to-do activity. And then once I'm done, I can just cl cl uh, close it and that's it. Um, I can also go back to my finance workspace. Um, as I As you remember, I was talking about this document before. This one contains several documents in one. Actually, it's uh, about several um, customer invoices and I don't want to keep them in only one document. So th what I will do is that I will use this little split button, which is a, a represented by scissors. I click here and then I can split my document in three parts. So I see the little scissors here that show me that I, I'm dividing it in three parts. And then I just click on split. And now I don't have one, per, but three different documents here. If I select my vendor bill now, I can show you one of the actions that, are, that is interested, uh, interesting Sorry for us. Um, if I have an integration with other applications, so for example, in this case, I have the accounting app installed in my database, I can create a vendor bill. I just click here and I'm redirected to the vendor bill here. And thanks to the document digitization feature, I can basically have every uh, thing uh, filled in automatically by the system. I just have to click on the refresh button and that's it. I have uh, my lines filled in automatically. If you don't have any more credits for this, you can buy some additional credits, of course. The documents application is, of course, integrated with the accounting application, but also with other applications. 
So if I go to my internal workspace, I have here a contract that would like um, my customer to sign. So I can just use that sign action here. I click here and I can just add the signature for myself. So the company and for my customer here. And of course, if you want more information on the signature application, you can check out the video and the documentation about it. So now I go back to the document. Now, one last thing that I wanted to show you that is very interesting is that by clicking on this button, I can also request a document. So I click here and I was missing my colleague's driver's license. So I will for now put it in the HR workspace and I will, of course, choose the person I want to send it to. So it's my colleague, Mark Demo, and I can just click on request. Now, if I go to my HR uh, workspace, I can see my request here. And once I will receive it from my colleague, I, it will appear in the HR workspace. As we've seen, Odoo Documents is a must-have app to store, view, and manage all your files efficiently and focus on what matters, running your business. Feel free to check our dedicated documentation to dive deeper into this app. See you on the next one.